It's been a long night, man. Uh, shout out to the guys that helped me get this interview. Agree, oh, man. man. Agree. What's good, dog? What's up, man? How you feeling, man? Shh, I'm a little tired. Been ripping and running all day, but we made it, man. Brock came in here. You look tired. You like you ain't even want to do this. Nah, man. I'm here, man. I'm here. I want first of all, I want to say I appreciate you for taking the time out your long day. It sounded like you had a long ass day. It was a little long. I appreciate you for having me. Now already, tell me what um what, what some of the things you got going on right now. Um, man, really just branching off into different stuff as I you see what I'm saying. Get older, like I'm trying to do a little TV show with me and Tootie, mm. Boosie Son. So we've been talking about that, trying to plan a like little tour, going around that TV show. So. Really, I'm just like trying to dip my foot into other doughs and figure out some new what the, stuff. What the, what the TV show gonna be about? Basically, just like us competing, like his his um crew, his group with my group, we doing stuff together and competing against each other, and you know, just like a like a I want to say almost like a party, chilling, kickback type show. Like we'll probably be playing football versus each other, paintballing versus each other and stuff like that. Just like entertaining, like entertaining mm-hmm. stuff that we're doing and just keeping the folks like entertained. So. I feel like it's crazy because when when you say Tootie, I feel like, like, are y'all really close? Because when you say it, I don't sound surprised at all. Like it sounds like that would be a perfect yeah. two guys to, to do a show together. Yeah, we got we got we got a um, a couple similarities that kind of. Would make that pop, make the show kind of sit where it need to. What What are some of the similarities you would say? Uh, we grew up kind of the same almost. Like he, he understands the cons just like I understand the cons. So when you say the cons, like what? What you mean? Like just growing up having a father that got dang was a celebrity. What well, is a celebrity and like how you move and what people think go on and what actually go on and like all of that like we have conversations and stuff and like we both relate like if i'm telling him something he relate and if he telling me something i relate so it's like so what's some of the cons and we can't just um let's get the let's just set the record straight right you say like two two parents who celebrities like it's not just regular celebrities like your pops is ti yeah his pops is boosie and i mean like boosie is like shit i'm from baltimore so like Boosie is like the king of all the real niggas in, in Baltimore, right? So like we talking about two major celebrities that has a huge impact on the culture, especially Ti and Tra- man talking about one of the kings of trap for real. So what are some of the cons coming up under somebody that's 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 so large in our in our hip hop community? I think one of the big ones is you got such a big spotlight when you mess up, you kind of got to know how to take it more than. You see what I'm saying? Messing up and not having that many eyes on you. And mm. You see what I'm saying? So it's like you kind of got to learn how to like not care mm. at an early age like because that junk can break you. If you really like oh, soft, man. it can break you. Yeah. But like just stuff like that, like having the camera on you all the time, going out on your own time, um, people got them thinking they understand the situation and all this, this stuff like that. And that's what we relate on a lot. You know what's crazy, bro, because, like, um, just being honest, right, um, when we we talk about our country and where it's at and we talking about, like, racism and things like that, I think, like, you know, the biggest thing, the biggest ism to me is classism, right, the rich and the poor. But even further, more than that, I'm listening to your story, and it's like, it's so crazy how the opposites are just alike. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. you got your story, you come in, and, and it might be a... You might come up under a celebrity, rich and all that, but you still got your story and it's still some somebody that can relate to you and it's still hardship that come with it, right? Like I come from mm-hmm. the trenches and it's like, yeah, I might not have came up with the greatest things, but I got I got stories that nobody can relate to. But it's like at the end of the day, if we if we really got to, to know each other, we see how similar we are, mm-hmm. right? Like how frustrating is that to come up and people thinking, man, oh, this kid, parents rich, they don't have no problems. Like what are some of those, those things that you might encounter and you're like, man, you have no idea. I mean, I feel like it's certain stuff that, like, is good, ain't, you see what I'm saying, Sean? Like what, though? Just, like, past stuff, like, that you do as you're a teenager. Like what? I mean, like, I'm pretty sure some teenagers can relate. Yeah, just like everything. 
fights at parties, just just stuff. I had a lot of them, so I yeah, understand. Just I, I can stuff like that. So it's just like, it's just like, God damn. That's I feel like that's not what needed to be out. Like they know about me what they should know about me. You see what I'm saying? Like anybody else, what you know about me that's personal. Mm. You see what I'm saying? But don't think you know me just cause. Bro, it's crazy because like I, I don't know too much, right? But um, and I don't get this compliment all too much, but like I could feel the just the the, the genuine energy coming from you. You get mm. what I'm saying? It's like you shouldn't be able to have to grow up so fast because of your parents and things like that. But again, it's like I can relate because there's so many kids that got to grow up because they don't have their parents there. So it's like, bro, yeah. just keep going. I feel like what the people say, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is yeah. what it is. Like, do you, do you have you ever encountered, like, somebody trying to prove themselves on to you or, like, trying to, trying to like, I don't want to say bully you because they like, that's T.I.'s son, so, like, I'm going to get some quick clout off of him. Like, that's a big thing that, like, People like to say I come off like trying to be a gangster. I just got things stand on my respect. So it's like if somebody disrespect me or I feel disrespected, I stand on business. And they think that's trying to be hard or that's just, that's just what I stand on as a man. So it's like they not going to know that because they, they ignorant. They mm -hmm. just going to say you trying to be this, you ain't. But it's just like. Everybody as a human got obstacles and people that hate on them and they deal with it how they deal with it. Now let's not let's not ignore the fact that like okay we talk about the music right and um I mean your pops got a a a, a great reputation of being like ain't one of them niggas to play with you get what I'm saying like does mm -hmm. that ever when when you going to school and you dealing with your are you are you doing school like public school or I graduated from school but I I, I did public school my whole life. Okay, congratulations, dog. Yeah. Um, when you were going to school and things like that, was it? Does you ever felt any pressure that like, man, nigga, like I'm Ti or something? Like you ain't gonna have to play with me either. You feel me? Cause you ain't, you ain't, I mean, like you might be young, but you ain't no fool. You know what? You know what's yeah, going on. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's like that's like regardless of like people like just because you are who you are, that'll bring you unnecessary random ops, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like so it's like people not gonna believe how much more it bring mm. cause they wasn't in that position. Mm -hmm. So they don't understand. But yeah, like in school it was a lot of people that like hating like just regular stuff that I don't stand for and I don't and you see what I'm saying? It just went how it went but like in school, I ain't had none of my brothers at school. Like I had built my own family, like my own clique, like my my brothers, my school brothers. So it's like I've always been humble. Like on the south side, they look at me just like king. Like I ain't never been like the cocky, do all this. I just a regular, treat everybody cool. So it's like I don't really look at it like I don't really look at it like when I was at school. It was different because I ain't expect nobody to treat me different, and I ain't look for that. Mm. So it's like when I when I seen that, I was I wanted to stay away from it. Like if a nigga was like, "Oh, you can't tell," like I'm cool on you. Like you're too like, high anyway. Like yeah, <laughs> I don't need. Cause niggas that know I ain't really coming up to you like that. Like they, yeah. they look at you like you king. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, uh, do you think um <clears throat> the music right? I feel like how long you been doing this music thing now? Probably like um. Probably two to three years. When you first got into it, you wasn't, it wasn't as like promoted, right? Like pe a lot of people ain't know. Yeah, yeah. Why was that when you first started? Why, why, why weren't you putting it on front stage? Did you, did you, was you afraid that people was gonna think you was just trying to be like your father? Like, was you nah. running from the pressure? Nah, not necessarily. It's just um. Then again, like even with that music, like what I really want to talk about and like stuff like that that I'm beginning to go over to now. As uh, you see what I'm saying, get more leverage. Um, grab the mic, grab the mic closer for me if you don't mind. Um, I couldn't like really speak on that like that too much back then, like to what I'm allowed, like you see what I'm saying, to what is accepted. Like that's not nothing that would have been supported by my people back then. Like, so it's like back then I was just. I want to say laying down the basics and getting the creativity, like 
finding my inspiration to make a song. And I feel like now is like, like, starting now is like I'm reaching my peak and like about to start um really finding my sound and everything. But I want to say I began it probably like two, three years ago. So when you when you was in that time, right, you said you couldn't really speak about these things you want to talk about because like people ain't going to take it serious, I guess, right? So the things you're rapping about now, you always wanted to rap about that? Yes. So where did that come from? What did, like, where did that, usually when somebody make a song about heartbreak, it's because they got that heart broken. Usually if somebody making a song about drugs, they didn't sell drugs. Like what, where did you get that from if, if, if this was years ago? Because how do you know if you don't mind? I don't know if you do the age thing. You say age don't really matter. I it? really <laughs> don't do the age thing. I don't do the age thing. Well, you but... seem young. You seem young as hell, way younger than me. Um, so if it's three years ago, let's just, I don't know, like, I don't know, whatever. Mm-hmm. If it's three years ago, I'm pretty sure you're way younger than what you are now. Where was the, the because I hear, I, heard, I heard a few songs. I hear what you're rapping about, and it sounds, okay, you probably teenager, you know what I'm saying, about to be 20, a couple years, whatever the case may be. Mm-hmm. It sounds appropriate, like you said. I feel like we're on the same page. But three years ago, I'm like, yo, what the hell you was doing? Yeah. Answer that anyway. Yeah, you see, it's like certain stuff, like, wouldn't it be believable? Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, to who? But to, like, just the world, it'll be hard for the world to accept. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like, I don't see what you got. You got to go deeper than that because I don't see because there's a lot of it's. Bro, I, like, I'm from look, Baltimore, so like you gotta understand. I will probably see a lot of niggas younger than that doing right, some crazy shit. So talk right, to me. So look, like if I if I boom, everybody picturing King stays in the mansion we seen on TV. Okay. No, <laughs> King <laughs> stayed like, no. with his grandma in Todd Boulevard. Okay. So and it's like I was more of a kid that like. Wanted to be like a regular kid, like you force your way outside. Yeah, like I didn't want to be at the mansion. These gates, I ain't no kids outside playing. Ain't no like I don't want to be here. Mm. I want to be out there in the neighborhood playing basketball, doing all that little stuff like that. So that I was more of a outside kid, like even like that's why I feel like I didn't I didn't like no big house when I was little. I always liked it. To be outside and be active and be into stuff, I was just a wild kid, like a bro. I'm, like, believe it or not, I really be, like I I really follow you. Like, I believe it because I could even just picture it when I was young. I ain't even want to have no big house with a big yard because nobody stayed around there. Like, yeah. every time you think about a big ass house, it's no neighbors. Like, neighbors far as fuck. The kids can't. Yeah. So I really, it's crazy that you that you say that. Like, but it's you'd be surprised that so many people can relate to that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, when I was a kid, I told my mom I want a, a house in the project. She looked at me like I was crazy. Like, what? That doesn't even make sense. So I get what you're saying, bro. Like, Yeah, it's like, really? That's why I used to be in apartments a lot, too, when I was younger, playing football and stuff, ding dong ditch and stuff like that. And it's like, that's the stuff I was just, like, into. Like, I was just into that. It felt normal for me. Like, it really didn't. Like, of course, people were looking like, what? Like, you see what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I'm just... Being a regular jit, you see what I'm saying? We're trying to be a regular jit. That's some soft shit. Jit. Trying to, yeah, like, I ain't, it's just, that's what entertained me. It wasn't. So let me ask you this, though. I want you to be honest, though. Was you not doing it because people couldn't relate? Because I'm sitting here and I'm like, I can relate, and I feel like there's a lot of kids that can. Or was you not doing it because you, your parents wasn't going to like it? And when you say not doing what, what making the music, cause you like I wasn't making that music, cause the music I make right now, people wouldn't believe that three years ago. I know that my 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 parents got a big image, like mm-hmm. they got a big big image. So it's like at that point when when I first started music, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> that was the truth. I, okay, no, and that's that's fair. Saying? That's fair. But now it's like. I have my own story, you see what I'm saying, that I'm old enough to share and like that I've done went through and that I've that I could put in my music. So it's like it's like they can kind of mold accepting now because I'm growing and I'm learning and I'm you see what I'm saying, I'm like the stuff that you go through at the, the age that I'm in and like when you're younger that prepares you and make you the person who you are today. So it's like 
I feel like they see me turning into that person, and they kind of like, this is just him. You got to let that change yeah, off, right? It's like, this is just him. What are some of the things that, that that's frustrating you about or that's frustrating about the life right now? Because I hear it in your music, right? You just played it. What, what songs did you play? Let the people know. You played like three, four songs. Yeah, I played like um, Grandma Boy. What else? I what played? was the song you played? It was like, um, that's my first time hearing it. He was like, my parents don't like, uh, not really... Like uh, in the lifestyle I'm living or some shit like that's, that. Um, that's uh, the one I got with Nelly Chaffer. That's what got, I forgot what that's called. Um, so what are you I doing? I'm trying to figure out what you, bro, you about to be on TV. You know what I'm saying? Like you got some shit with Tootie. You got this paintball shit. I heard you really good at paintball. Yeah. I heard that yeah. shit right there. So yeah. it's like, we're going to talk about, but I, like you're doing a lot of good shit. Like what are you doing? What is it that's bothering? Like when I come here, you seem like, man, I'm tired. Like what's bothering you? What's bothering King? That's like, man, these niggas need to leave me the fuck alone. Like, what's what's bothering you? Talk to me. I want to say, I want to say, um, it's not necessarily like the only thing. Like, I, it's not really necessarily bothering me. I just like, I wish that you see what I'm saying. What I did didn't affect my people so much. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Not like. I wish I was, you That's know how shit that you say that though. Yeah, you know like how people got a chance to got thing, make their fan base and and like make the music that they want to put they on like and just effect on them. This is like you can't really do that. I can't really because do if that. If you do that, then it's going to come off and affect your parents. Yeah, so it's like. It's like um like you caught in a maze or something. Yeah, that's something that like I'm f- trying to get my way around and like finesse it to the best ability. But like that's what really bothers me. Like, bro, what I would say, and I ain't really here to give you like a lot of advice. Like, I ain't here to be mentor and them shit like that. But I, I, I would say keep being you, bro. Like, like yeah. my my, this is my first time ever meeting you. Like, I don't know you from a can of paint. Like, I ain't even think we was gonna be talking about this type of shit for real. But like. I will say, like, just keep being you because people going to see it. You know what I'm saying? No matter what. Like, you don't even have to talk about none of that. Even if you don't talk about none of that other shit one more time. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you being you and just from the conversations that I'm getting, I've never even seen a show a day in my life, bro, ever. I'm, and I'm not making this up. So I ain't no groupie or nothing like that. I'm being real. I'm being genuine. And what I will say is, like, even if even if you don't talk about it another day in your life, bro, I feel like people going to, they're going to, they're going to, they're going to, Come to you from that. You know what I'm saying? They're going to feel mm-hmm. that no matter what. So even if you're doing this show with two of y'all doing these games, what other games y'all going to be doing? Because you say, I feel like paintball is just shit. I feel like nobody beating you in that. Mm-hmm. How, like, yeah. what, what? First of all, paintballing. <laughs> Man, paintballing, we really like, that's really like, we was really beefing for a minute. Like, what is that? Like, no real beef, but like fake beef, but like really like oh, pulling the paintball. up. Yeah, like really like. I ain't gonna lie, Tootie popped it off. He spent on me first. He popped it off. I had all my guns, though, but I'm waiting on him to get his guns. I got, like, five, six guns. No, at the time, I had two, three, but only two of them was working. But he ended up spending on me first. He ended up hitting one of my partners that wasn't, like, he was just, like, a bystander. He ended up hitting him in his finger. So we went, we slid about that. the paintballs. Yeah, we in slid. Atlanta. Yeah, in Atlanta at the trap museum. He okay, okay. They, okay. We was posted on the front street, and he slid, and there was like three cars just spinning back to back. I'm like, which one is he in? So my partner, like the red charger, keep pulling up, blow, do, do. So he walking up to the car. You see, as the window drop, and you see Tootie put the gun out, start letting him off. Wait, so, so you said the champions? You got because I, I, you got. Bring me up to speed because I ain't really, I ain't from down here. The Trap Museum, it's like right there. It's a uh, museum. So we talking about being, oh, it's, it's inside. It's not like nah, outside. Nah, it's outside. So you talking about like, we outside, niggas are spinning the bins with the, with yeah, the paintballs? Yeah, like we outside. Like, yeah, like, so before nah, he did it, like. crazy, first of all. Like, like he yo, called me. <laughs> he called me. He called me. He like, he like, why you standing by all them people? I'm like, what? I'm like, oh. I'm about to, all right. I'm is walking this on over. some homie shit? Or yeah, this on some homie right, right, so, like, so I walk to the side. Right. I walk to the side and tell him come back. So now we, now we like at the side where ain't nobody is because we don't want nobody to get hit from us playing. So boom. And it's some bystanders and shit. Yeah, we come to the side, step off. So we waiting for him to spin. Later or not, they end up spinning. And um, we end up getting them back. 
we end up getting them back here. We end up getting them back, tell them to come down the street. They come down, we get them. Then, okay, I think he was he was talking. I had my one of my partners, his name um Ken G, he actually one of my artists. Um, he's from Jacksonville. One of two D partners was from Jacksonville. And he was talking like he wanted to get in the war, all this woo de woo. So Juan ended up finding out like where he where he was in Jacksonville, his neighborhood. And he was on FaceTime with me trying to pop it, and I had got his house address. So, boom. <laughs> so, boom. I had, Juan had went down to Jacksonville, and we end up catching, I end up calling him like, yo, I got a, I got a package for you outside. You got to sign for it. So, I tell him, go get it. He walk outside trying to pop it. Juan come from the side of his house, and he light him up. So, All these with the paintballs. Am I yeah. tripping like these and this, guys? We got him. With that, that was in Jacksonville. So then, oh, that was in Jacksonville. Yeah, we that was in Jacksonville. That yeah, wasn't even in Atlanta. Flights, like, yeah, so, catching flights to slide down on. So we end up sliding on Tootie at his house at the uh, Boosie Estates. And how I do it is, I'm like ten minutes away. I call him. I call him. I'm like, woo, 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 woo. Um, why your gate open? He's like, what? I had got word around the city. I was like, what? He like, why you? I'm like, he like, what? So I'm like, yeah, I'm just letting you know. I just dropped off like three of my people and they in your yard. So figure it out. So he like, what, what? So mind you, I'm capping right now. But we three cars deep, we spinning. We, we three cars deep in a pickup truck, some mo jump, we spinning. So boom. So they all outside. We drive by. They all outside, like you just see like 15 people outside just looking, all type of junk. So we hop off the truck and Keep telling me your story. Keep going. Now me and Juan, me and Juan on feet. So we hop out the truck, we start walking towards the woods. Like by their house. We start walking towards the woods. But little did we know Tootie and his Tootie and C D, they hiding behind a tree in the woods. So one of our people come up loud, shicey. He come up loud, pull up in his little Camaro talking about some raw gang. So, boom, that blew our cover. So they start shooting. So we start, I run them down. My gun, an automatic, like he got a switch on it. I run them down. I run them down. He start, they start falling, sliding. They claiming nobody got hit, but we let off 3,000 shots that night. I swear to God. So they claim nobody got hit. But then, so he called me after we spent. He like, nah, bro. He like, we quit, bro. He like, he like, we quit. So, boom, we end up going to the Waffle House by their house, and I'm popping it. We popping it. So, man, Tootie called me. He like, you ordering something to eat? I'm like, nah. I'm, I'm like, we really just came here to pop it and just to let you know we still here. And so he was like, um, order me a patty milk. <laughs> so I'm like, he think he's smooth. He think he's slick. He about to try to spin back and try to get us. So, I go in there and order him a patty milk. I'm walking to the truck. I'm walking to the truck. I see I see a man with a hood. I see two people with a hood run up, start shooting. I get down. I get, I open the truck though, get it, and I start running at him. I start running at him with the automatic. And then that was really like our last our last like change of a fire. And then we really on street bud now. Street bud getting the next. It's me and Tootie, we together now. So now we around getting other people in the city, whoever wanted. Street Bud, Jit, whoever. 